friends! My name is Mika and I am an energy work practitioner. A lot of my work focuses on holding space for other people so that they can awaken the healer within themselves. If you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, all of that information is listed down below. In today's video, I'll be sharing resources that I hope to be helpful for empaths or highly sensitive individuals. If you don't really identify as either, but you do find yourself feeling ungrounded easily or overwhelmed by emotions easily, this video will still hopefully serve you as well. The goal of this video is to help you connect with yourself more deeply and more authentically so that you have more capacity for yourself and therefore more capacity for others. Because I truly believe that when we can meet our own needs and fill our own cups, we lay a stronger foundation for us to be in better service to others. So the first thing that I want to talk about is our own receptivity and availability. Sometimes, no matter what self-care practices we do, we don't actually create the space within ourselves to truly be nourished by them. So for example, for me this can look like finally taking a nice relaxing bath, but at the same time I'm scrolling on my phone and numbing myself out. Or if I'm sitting with a cup of tea, but I'm stressing out about my future or the day ahead. It's like going through the motions of the self-care practices, but not actually receiving any benefit from them because I'm not fully being present with myself. So before I even talk about tools for empaths or highly sensitive people, the first thing that I want to emphasize is that we must give ourselves permission to receive the nourishment or the fulfillment or the help that we're asking for when we feel dysregulated. Sometimes it takes a conscious effort for us to actually open up our hearts and receive that support. When you care for yourself, how much of your own love are you genuinely letting in? Moving forward, I invite you to be very mindful about your own availability. How much permission are you actually giving yourself to receive? Now that we've discussed that, we can move on to the resources that I'd like to share. So the first topic that I want to cover are our crystal allies. I want to share some crystals that I find super supportive to work with. And for a little background, I've worked in a few crystal shops throughout my life. And because of that, I've had the opportunity to one, learn a lot about crystals. And two, I've had a lot of exposure to people's personal stories when it comes to healing with crystals. To be honest, there are so many crystals that align with this topic of support for empaths and highly sensitive people, but for this video, I just want to share a couple crystals that I often turn to and also find pretty accessible. So the first crystal that we have is hematite. And hematite is probably the number one most recommended crystal that I offered to customers who walked into the shops. The way that I described hematite is like a weighted blanket in crystal form. And if you've never worked with hematite before, it might be hard to tell, but this little stone right here has such a heaviness to it that you can't help but sink down into the earth and ground when you use it. It's my favorite stone for grounding, especially if I'm experiencing anxiety. And I think that grounding is such an important tool for sensitive people. The next stone that we have is angelite. I find this stone to have such a soothing, calming energy and even just looking at the color of it really relaxes me. The stone is said to radiate benevolence and it can help connect you to love and guidance from higher dimensions. And so when I remember that I am connected, I feel safe, I feel supported, I remember that I'm always being guided, and this in turn grants me peace. Working with this crystal really just puts me at ease and it reminds me that everything is going to be okay. Moving on, our next crystal is Lepidolite. And Lepidolite is widely known as a stone of serenity. Ooh! Lepidolite actually has high amounts of lithium in it, which is known to calm an overactive nervous system. This stone helps purify the aura and encourages the release of blocked energy. I also highly recommend sleeping with Lepidolite under your pillow at night for deep sleep and for peaceful dreams. In fact, I slept with this baby under my pillow for the first time in a long time last night and I had the most beautiful, calming dream. And usually my dreams are quite confusing and sometimes draining. So it made me remember that I have these tools at my fingertips. I just have to give myself permission to use them. So Lepidolite is just an amazing, amazing companion to have with you. And the final crystal that I'll be sharing is Selenite. 
As you can probably tell, selenite has such a phenomenal way of reflecting light and bringing light wherever it is. It's another incredible crystal for cleansing the aura and bringing alignment into the body. For empaths and highly sensitive people, I find that energetic hygiene should be a top priority, which is why selenite is such a great tool to use and have because it has such a magnificent way of deepening any cleanse that you're doing on yourself. In fact, in a lot of my Qigong tutorials, I'll end our practices with an exercise called the golden pillar of light. But in these exercises, we're moving our bodies in such a way where we're recalling our energy and bringing it back into alignment. And as I do this exercise, I actually envision myself as a stick of selenite. And sometimes I invite others to partake in that visual as well. Another reason that selenite is such an amazing crystal is that it has the ability to cleanse other crystals as well. So selenite is honestly just such a wonderful asset and friend and ally to have in your space. Now we'll move on to flower essences, and like crystals, there are an abundance of flower essences out there to support empaths and highly sensitive individuals, but for the purpose of this video, I'll just be sharing a few that I have and love to work with personally. After listening to this video, if you're interested in finding these essences for yourself, I believe that a majority of them are available online. I have a couple local herb shops in town that I frequent to get my flower essences, and and sometimes I make my own flower essences. I've made a couple videos on that whole entire process of creating flower essences, which I'll link down below as well. So first we're going to talk about yarrow. We have pink yarrow and white yarrow that we'll be sharing about today. There's actually a bunch of different types of yarrow and each one has a subtle difference in their frequency. Pink yarrow is great for solidifying emotional boundaries with others. Empaths can tend to be helpers, which can either consciously or unconsciously influence them to try and fix everyone's problems around them so that they themselves can feel at ease. If you are constantly influenced by other people's energy around you, it would make sense to try and soothe them so that you yourself can feel soothed. However, that way of operating isn't very sustainable, nor is it energetically clean. The beauty of pink yarrow is that it helps us maintain compassion within ourselves without having to mesh with others. That way we're able to connect and support others, not through shared pain, but through wholeness. White yarrow helps us fortify a strong, healthy aura. It allows us to explore our psychic and intuitive gifts, something that usually comes natural to sensitive people without actually being overwhelmed by them. It's very common for empaths at one point or another to want to shut down our gifts because our sensitivity can sometimes feel like it's too much. And the wonderful thing about yarrow is that it helps us rebalance our energy and seal up our energetic space so that it feels safe to be in our bodies with our gifts included. The next essence that I'll share is St. John's Wort, which is also called nature's antidepressant. Something that I love about St. John's Wort is it helps us rebalance the light within ourselves, whether we feel completely disconnected to the light within ourselves or if we've overextended our consciousness and need restoration. As a highly sensitive person myself, with all that's going on in the world around us, it's easy to feel that life is quite bleak and sometimes I find myself feeling discouraged and hopeless. But one of the reasons why St. John's Wort has helped me so much is it reminds me that there's a kernel of hope and light within myself and it helps me shine that light internally. St. John's Wort helps us connect to ourselves and remember who we are and see that there is a beautiful shining light within us. Now we're gonna talk about corn. Corn is deeply grounding and it helps us connect to the earth below us and the environment surrounding us. As I've mentioned before, grounding is such an important tool to have as a sensitive individual. It's so necessary to take the time to release energy in your space that doesn't belong to you or no longer serves you. Release it into the earth, allow the earth to recycle it, and then feel the earth rise up to meet and support you. One of the best things that we can do for ourselves and for the planet is to deepen our connection and relationship to the earth, which leads me to our last resource for today's video, spending more time in nature. Various scientific studies have shown that spending time in nature has an immense positive impact on health and well-being. It can lower blood pressure and calm the nervous system, 
enhance the immune system's function, increase self-esteem, reduce anxiety, and improve mood. Being in nature helps us easily connect to our own life force and attune to our own flow and rhythm. It is in nature where we can strengthen our relationship with the earth, with source, and with ourselves. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. I hope this video served you well, and if it did, please leave a like, comment, subscription, or all of the above as it really helps my channel grow. Like I said, all the links to working with me one-on-one -on -one are listed down below, and I hope that we can connect. Thank you again, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye!